guys, this is Tara with Kitten Sweets and Taro, and today we are back in my kitchen uh, because I would like to use the pendulum and food. If we're thinking about food um, and possibly maybe getting a snack, we can maybe bust out the pendulum. Maybe the pendulum isn't something that we want to bust out maybe at the supermarket or maybe when you're out eating. <laughs> it might be a little bit weird. You're like, you know, got the food over the menu or the pendulum for the menu and you're like, hmm, I wonder if this is good for me or not. But the pendulum is a great way uh, to figure out uh, whether something is beneficial for your body or not. Um, because remember what I've said before that in, well, in my belief, the pendulum um, kind of stems from your higher self or your subconscious and or both. And uh, due to micro movements in your hand, will tell the pendulum yes or no, or I don't know. If you're choosing a snack and you don't know if that snack is beneficial for your body or maybe um, you're having a few issues and you don't know which foods might be the culprits, a pendulum might be a great way to figure that out. So in the comfort of your own home, you might want to assess some of the things in your pantry or maybe just for fun, bring out a few items. I have a few items behind me, as you can see, um, and I just want to assess them, which ones are good for my body, maybe not so good for my body in mass quantities. Um, some things are okay once in a while, but you can always ask your pendulum, you know, because we all need our treats every now and then. So it's like, can I have this? Can I have this a lot? How much can I have this? Can I have this like once a week? You know, how much is, is too much in one serving? Um, so, you know, it's, it's fun to ask the pendulum for that. And if you're wondering what type of pendulum I have, um, this one is kind of a, a Merkaba, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, quartz, plus it has a little quartz point at the bottom as well. And then there's like a little, little teeny quartz ball at the, at the top. Uh, but I figured this one has a um, pretty good amount of energy and I like to use this one for nutrition. So let's see what the pendulum has to say. P.S. I just got off of work, so I'm in my work clothes like, ah! <laughs> okay, we have a few items on the counter I have all lined up here. So first I want to see uh, which direction is which, what means yes, what means no. So I'm going to go ahead and I like to hold the pendulum uh, by these two uh, fingers and hold it in my dominant hand and I like to place my non-dominant hand underneath. So I ask the pendulum, please show me yes. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys so you guys can see that it's swinging to the right. Thank you, please show me no. Okay, you guys can see now it's swinging to the left. Please show me I don't know. And now it's just swinging back and forth. Now let's try out some foods. So I love tomatoes. This tomato actually grows from my backyard. Um, however, it grew kind of funny and I don't think it's bad. Um, <laughs> it's just that it grew weird. It's not that it became rotten or something like there's a few tomatoes that kind of grew like this and um, I don't know if it's still good to eat. So um, <laughs> judging by how it looks, maybe I don't want to eat it, but I'm just going to go ahead and ask the uh, pendulum. Okay, uh, is this safe for me to eat? Okay, pendulum is saying it's safe for me to eat. Will I enjoy this? No, so it probably tastes gross. So it's not gonna kill me, but it's probably not the best tasting. Okay. Next thing I have is one of my lemons, and this came from my friend's lemon tree. Um, so it's a little soft. I don't know if that I can still use it for things. So. Is this lemon still useful? Can I use it for food? Okay, it's saying no. So maybe if I just wanna, <laughs> you know, freshen up the garbage disposal or use something where this is not gonna be going in my digestive tract, then maybe this is still good. Now I have some blueberries. Um, these blueberries are a little soft and I prefer to have my blueberries uh, nice and firm. Um, so I'm just gonna ask the pendulum if they're still safe to eat or if it's gonna cause any issues because I don't want no digestive issues. Okay, so pendulum, are these blueberries still safe to eat? Okay, so it says yes. Will it cause any uh, stomach issues? No. Okay, so maybe they're not the firmest blueberries, but they're not gonna kill me and they're still fine for me. So, okay, now I know. We'll go to our basic stuff, stuff that we know is, you know, okay for us. So first I'm gonna go to an apple. Um, 
Is this apple beneficial for my health? Okay, yes. Is it okay to eat one at least once a day? Okay, yes. Is it okay to eat two apples a day? No. Okay, maybe a couple of apples a day, maybe a little high on the sugar intake, plus um, you might be in the restroom for a little while. <laughs> now we go on to our avocado. Is this avocado safe for me to eat? No, that's interesting. Still, like, feels pretty good. Ooh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. I did not know there was mold growing on my avocado. Hmm. Okay. Well then, now I know. Thank you. I'm glad I did this video. <laughs> I love honey. I haven't had honey in a little while, so I just want to ask if honey is okay to bring back into my diet. So. Is honey okay for me? It says yes. Can I have a tablespoon a day? Okay, that would still be okay. Could I have two tablespoons a day? No. Could I have this and other uh, sugar-related items? Um, okay, so I was saying yes, so I could still have this, but in a sw smaller quantity, and if I'm, I'm going to have other sugar-related items, they're going to be kind of like natural sugars, so like an apple is natural sugars. Into my favorites, Nutella. By the way, I'm not sponsored by Nutella, but that would be sure awesome if I was, because I love Nutella. Okay, um, Nutella. Is Nutella good for my health? What? You lie. <laughs> Pendulum says no. Why? Why, Nutella? Why? Okay. This is a sometimes food and maybe not an everyday food. So let me just ask. Okay. My beloved, my beloved Nutella. Nutella, Nutella. Okay. Um, could I have at least a tablespoon a week? Yes. Okay. Okay. Tablespoon week. And we're good. We're good. I usually have a couple of these a week. This is one of my protein bars. And I just want to know if that's safe for me. Is this protein bar beneficial for my health? Okay. Yes. Is it safe to eat one every day? No. Is it safe to have one every other day? it's saying it doesn't know so maybe maybe I, I'm good with with a couple of these a week now I want to jump into my dark chocolate covered mangoes I love these um, I'm not eating them right now because I'm not um, putting any excess sugar in my system at the moment um, so are these an okay treat every day no could I have one of these once a week? No. Hmm. Are these okay to eat at all? Hmm. Hmm. That is interesting. It is a no. Hmm. But it is my favorite treat. Uh, I will have to rethink these. Hmm. This is a very telling video. I'm glad I made this video. Of course, um, you know, I'm whatever, I'm part Filipino. I'm gonna have rice. Uh, I usually have like rice that's not in a package, but I just happen to have packaged rice uh, laying around. It was like gifted to me from one of my friends. Um, normally I have like the giant bag of rice, but for video purposes, you guys can see that this is rice. And I also like um, the Good Good Eats uh, Super Ramen. So I'm gonna see if, number one, is it, beneficial for my body to eat super ramen no well no surprise there <laughs> there's a lot of starch in there and a lot of msg and a lot of preservatives and <laughs> okay is rice in general okay for me no hmm 
I love rice. I live off of rice. I have not had rice though in quite some time, but it seems like it doesn't jive with my body. So remember that the pendulum is speaking to you personally. So for any of these items up here, maybe some of them, they work differently with your body than it does with my body. So um, that's kind of why I'm, you know, showing you, you know, that maybe, maybe rice is good for you, but maybe it just doesn't work with my digestive system like it might work with yours. Okay, last thing is I want to show you um, the choice between two. Um, so we have uh, Kerrygold uh, Irish butter, um, which is uh, made from grass-fed cows, and so the butter comes out kind of completely different um, uh, because the cow's been able to graze and eat what it naturally does, which is grass. Um, and then here we have just your regular Kirkland uh, salted sweet cream butter. Um, so I want to know you know, if it's beneficial to keep buying the more expensive brand, or um, can I just save the money and get me some Kirkland? Okay, so I'm gonna ask the pendulum to please swing yes over the butter that is best for my heart health and my overall health. Okay, I got it. A yes over the carry gold. Let's look at the Kirkland. Mm, this one's kind of weird. It's getting like a I don't know. It's like a yes, I don't know. Okay, so there you have it. All right, so there you guys go. Um, just another useful way to use your pendulum. And again, you don't have to go out and buy a, a fancy pendulum. You can use uh, any heavy object um, hanging off of a string or a chain. It could be your necklace, you know, as long as you have a pendant hanging off of that necklace. Um, you could have a piece of thread and uh, one of your rings uh, hanging off of that and you can create your own pendulum. So I just happen to have this fancy one for my food. Um, but now you can see that there's several ways that you can use it. Um, you can use it for nutrition, you can use it for, you know, um, if you're going on a specific diet, if certain things are within the diet. Um, if you're trying to cut out certain foods, if you're trying to find out if mystery foods um, might be the culprit for your gastrointestinal problems, <laughs> um, if you might be having some bloating or issues or, you know, stuff we don't talk about. Girls don't have that. Um, <laughs> so, you know, it's always nice to kind of, kind of get a little uh, opinion from the pendulum. Of course, with anything, especially if you're having serious issues, definitely consult your doctor. Um, but for little stuff where it's just like, hmm, I'm hungry, I want a snack, you know, should I get this or should I get this? You know, you can consult your pendulum. So again, I am not a licensed doctor, so I cannot give you health advice. Although I am a registered nutritionist um, and certified personal trainer, um, it's always best to consult your personal um, doctor first before getting anybody else's advice or you take somebody's advice and you run it past your doctor first. All right, so that's it from me. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe. If you would like more videos like this, don't forget to click that notification bell right next to the subscribe button and I'll catch you spiritual homies later. All right, peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.